Hi guys, in this video we'll show you how to use the CNC plotter I built in my previous video. Let's get started. First of all, you have to follow the link in the video description which will take you to this GitHub page where you can download the necessary zip file. After extracting all the files in your desktop, you can go into the folder where the necessary Arduino libraries are located and copy all the files inside the Arduino libraries folders in the document section of your PC as shown in the video. Then you can connect the Arduino to your PC and open the Polargraph Server A1 sketch found inside the Polargraph Server A1 folder. If you've done everything right, now you should be able to upload the sketch onto your Arduino. Once that is done, we can proceed with the software installation. First, you have to open the Processing Source folder and copy the folder named Polar Graph Controller into the Processing folder found in the Document section in your PC. Then, you can copy the libraries located inside the Processing Libraries folder and paste them inside the appropriate folder, as you can see in the video. Now you can finally go inside the Processing 2.2.1 folder and launch the Processing software. Once that is running, you can press on File, Sketchbook and Polar Graph Controller in order to open the source code of the software needed. Then you can press Run and this control page should appear. In order to use this CNC plotter correctly, you have to download the configuration file you can find in the description below and upload it onto the software by pressing on Load Configuration. This will change all the settings according to the machine specs. In order to connect the CNC to the software, you have to go to the Setup tab and press on Serial Port, then No Serial Connection, and then on the serial port to which your Arduino is connected. The first thing you want to do in order to make the machine work properly is to press on the Send Speed and the Upload Lift Range button inside the Setup tab. If you can't press them, try to minimize the software window and to maximize it again. This will solve the problem. In order to send the commands to the machine, you have to press on the Command Query button, which will turn green. The last thing to do before starting to draw is to tell the software that the machine is at its own position by pressing on Set Home in the Input tab. By the way, the home point in this machine is set to be 8 cm below the top edge. At this point, we can finally upload the image we want to print. You can upload both vector graphics and JPEG or PNG images. If you want to print a vector image, you can upload it by pressing on the load vector and you can start to print it by pressing on draw vector. This will create a series of commands inside the command query, which will be sent to the Arduino one by one and will tell the plotter where to move in order to draw the desired picture. The same thing happens if you want to draw a JPEG or PNG image. You can upload the image to the software by pressing on the load image. Then you can go to the trace tab where the image is converted into a vector, according to the parameters you can change. Inside this tab you can also generate the commands by pressing first on capture and then on draw capture. This will create the commands needed in order to print the image. The software will then send them one by one to the plotter which will start to draw. So guys, that's it for this video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section below. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Bye!